that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. It's still more walk, some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. I think we should spend the night here. If it's safe. That's a big if. Well, there's a fence, which would help with walkers. Maybe. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> Shit, it's okay. Stick out tongue. <laughs> Stick out okay. tongue, that would scare the baby, okay. wouldn't it? Oh, You're natural. I think he likes you. He's Calmed cute. right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Luke is struggling, isn't he? Anyway, welcome back, guys, to uh, part number two of episode number five, season two. Oh, my God. I'm just worried about what's going to happen. Oh, Jesus. But at least we're safe now in a fenced area. We should be safe. Got a fire going as well. Luke can rest. Baby can rest. It's all good. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the... Uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well, was... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. 
Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Shouldn't the baby be in the um in the warm with the, the with the fire? That makes sense, surely. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. She saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? <laughs> Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Kissing stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That. That is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. I like it. Bit of dialogue. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Right, so let's go and explore. What's this danger sign? Danger, danger. Was this vault? I guess we isn't don't it? need to worry about being electrocuted. Because I guess it's not on. Yes, it's operational, isn't it? It's too freaking cold anyway. Um, what's going? Oh, let's go and speak to Alvo. He's obviously a little bit. Um, is that a good place to leave him? Obviously, freaking cold over there. Was it like freezing? Um. I've lost people too. We all have. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that Leave again. Leave me alone, please. Okay, he doesn't want to speak. Okay, fair enough. I understand. You lost your sister and stuff. We just need to walk away. Leave him. Let him have his time away. Sometimes the walking in this game is pretty freaking awkward. There we go. <laughs> Looks so weird trying to get back. Right. Offer Jane some rum, some alcohol beverage. Drink. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be around. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? Made What's it. the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's That's not me. a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? really good. 
Have you had any? Want to sip? It's okay. Um. It just I might burn some? a little. Um. Sure. Sure. <laughs> not sure if this is very wise or not. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Oh no. Uh oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. Oh, God. I haven't ate thought glass. about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. So I, f I think we've done a good job. I guess. She's sort of rejoined the group, so... Wanna sit here? No. That's... Uh, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wherever you like. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Right, one person left. Kenny. What's this? Let's have a quick look at this. Electricity unit thing. Transformer, there we go. It's called Transformer. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. <laughs> I miss TV. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Please, Kenny, can you get in the warmth, please? It makes no sense why he's not near the fire with the baby. It makes no sense. Right. Off. Perhaps offer some alcohol? Is that a good idea? I guess not. Alright, let's have a little bit of a chat to him then. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. I'm starting to think she might be a bad influence on you. Girl your age, it ain't right. I know you think you're older, but you're not. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to disappoint you. You're not, hun. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. It's a nice night. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. 
to play catch with Duck. To touch Katja's face. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. A boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Yes, we've got both to come over. Thumbs up to me. Sweet. I'm pretty pleased with that. Both people over there. Jane and Kimmy both over with the group, which is awesome. Um, what I'm going to do is end this episode here. If you want to see more, destroy the like button and I'll be back for next, another episode very, very soon. Bye-bye.